man, it's your boy Keese, and I'm back with another video, man. Today, we got the best crash out moments of all time, so we had to play that baby Kia instrumental. Yeah, Nick, walk out now with that stick. Some, 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 I can't wait to let it in. Crash out. All these youngers want to be young crash outs. It's sad. It's very sad, but yeah, man, we gonna get into this video. See what these boys are, man. See if they really crashing or they on some bluff and shit, man. We gonna call your bluff, bro. But yeah, before I start the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you can tap in with me. We got live videos every day. I'm bringing bangers, nonstop. I'm grinding, shawty. I know y'all, a lot of y'all be coming. Why are you always saying shorty? Shorty, why are you always saying shorty? Bruh, that's just what we say where I'm from, man. If you don't like it, suck it the f up. Today, I am going to go over the best crash out moments of all time. Yeah! Tracy McGrady versus Chad Ochocinco got super heated. Things were so intense. This Why is this joint acting so blurry, cuz? Come on. Killing me. It ended in a brawl. Ocho wasted no time and started going at T Mac right away. Ocho drew the foul and had some words. You know Chad's going to. We're going to start over, bro. Start over, start it over. Today, I am going to go over the best crash out moments of all time. Tracy McGrady versus Chad Ochocinco got super heated. Things were so intense, this thing ended in a brawl. Ocho wasted no time and started going at T Mac right away. Ocho drew the foul and had some words. You know, Chad's going to talk trash with the best of him. He even called him out on this ISO. Yeah, I, I don't know if, Ch if Ojo Seiko is playing or he's dead serious, bro. But, yeah, that's crazy. You can see T-Mac is taking it seriously when he gets down in the defensive stance. <laughs> no! Bro. Why did he just push him like that? So let me just push him like he was a baby, fool. Like a little kid. Yikes. Do not go. You can't go like that, bro. That's worthy for you to crash. That's worthy you, for you to crash. Somebody pushing you like that, you might have to punch him, bro. I'm not going to lie. You might have to. You got to do something. Because everybody, look at everybody looking. Everybody's looking like, what is he going to do next? There's only one thing to do, brother. One thing, brother. The Hall of Famer said, all right, it's time to lock up. Mind you, this is just a celebrity game to raise awareness for diabetes. T-Mac had a major size and skill advantage in this game. His jump shot is still looking smooth. There's a reason he made the list of top 75 players of all time. And you know Ocho Cinco wasn't going to go down without a fight. He's a serious competitor and started cherry picking for easy buckets. He even got in T-Mac's face to let him know he's him. T-Mac said, chill little bro. Chad has all the athleticism but is lacking the fundamentals. Things change quickly after a couple hard fouls. Next thing you know, the hit on the court. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, this is sad, bro, because y'all at an event to raise awareness for diabetes. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that serious, bro. Like, you gonna compete, but... It's supposed to be fun, bro. Y'all out here setting bad example. It's kids in the stands and all that. They do it a lot. They on their baby kid. You hear me? Walking around with that stick. OD crash. Other crash out moments. The most 
most recent crash out moment we saw was the Newman brothers in Miami. Nelson got into a heated altercation and big bro Noah steps in like a lion. Charlie that guy, he tried to, yeah, he tried to, he tried to give him some, Charlie came through like a uh, Brian Erlager, Charlie came through like Brian Erlager, <laughs> all shoulder blade bone. That's how you got to go for your little brother, though. You got to go smack for your little brother. Not sure why Buddy hit the strap up emote, but this one was so heated, the cops had to intervene. Jaden Newman had this famous... Let's go back, because I want to show y'all something. So heated. Buddy right here? With the head on? He's not playing no games. Look at his face. He came for a business. That's one thing I can tell about Buddy. He is going home to his wife and kids. By any means. Two to the body, one to the head. Kablau, kabloomy. He gonna send you home, bro. On GTA. But yeah, man. Um, Yeah. All the nonsense should have cut out when OG stepped on the court. Because he might send something super home. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. He might send you there. You hear me? The cops had to intervene. He's Jayden not playing. This famous crash out moment back in 2021 at the NEO camp. The girl in the red shorts was a menace on defense. And Jaden got sick of it. She tried to show the ref what she was doing and then went a little bit too far. Did you know that Julian Newman and lottery pig Zach Eady had a crash out? <laughs> Get Jayden that shit Zach out of here. Hit with a chair. Obviously, as you can see, this game went down to the wire. It all started when Julian threw a punch in the handshake line, and it was the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, they picked up a chair, hit big O, seven foot or six, big six. He taller than the, he almost taller than dude standing on the bleachers, Zach Eady. He ended up getting hit with a, a chair. They over there look like they bumping in the corner. Everybody got their phones Nobody don't be trying to help. They got all. Everybody got their phones out. Stupid shit. This is the world we live in, bro. You can't do nothing. Oh, you better if you get in a fight. You better watch somebody. You better go. You better go crazy. Fight like your life depend on it because you're gonna be on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok by five minutes after you're on TikTok. You're on social media getting whooped on if you lost. You cannot fight like your life depend on it. That's why people be shooting people, bro. I'm trying to tell you. It's embarrassing. You got to watch. And then you try to you try to scroll on Instagram. Next thing you know, people are post, reposting the video. Like, nah, bro. Nobody got time for that. Me, I'm, I'll re uh, uh, punch it out and then it's over with if I have to. But... I don't be on that. I'm a good guy. But I'm just saying, though, these kids nowadays, they ain't taking no L's and just, they ain't no L's. First of all, they not even going to fight you from the beginning. As soon as a fight start, you're going to hear pow, 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 before the video is over, bro. I don't condone no violence. Do good? That Dre had a right in his chin. All out brawl at IMG Academy. This game was absolutely chaotic. Amani Bates was going off in Vegas before this mm. dirty foul. See, and that's yes, that Bama I stuff. Foul, but the foul was not called. Bates coach said, you got to protect my players. And then this happened. Facts. I'm not going to lie. The ref, you got to call that. He clipped him up like he... That was a clear foul. Like, clearly. Somebody could get hurt like that. You can blow your knee out, anything, because you're not even making a basketball play, bro.
they doing a whole bunch of bluffing. There wasn't no, even no punching stars. I hate a whole bunch of pushing and, bro, just don't even do it, bro. If you're not going to get active, just don't even fake, bro. So, so the that wasn't even a fight. Just went off, but with best that wasn't even a fight, though. Amadi is a D1 crash out. He was going crazy in the state playoff game, per <sighs> usual. But him and number four had some words after Amadi fouled him hard. But this is when things turned up a notch. Amadi was on a breakaway, and number four figured it was time to get his get back. It was me. You grabbing somebody out the air, fool, on a fast break, that's not basketball, bro. It's not basketball. That's a technical foul, bro. Flagrant something, bro. Mayhem on the court. But luckily, Amadi's dad came in and grabbed him. That's the thing. Imani Bates is doing a lot. In the last video, he ain't even put hands on dudes. Like, he's just is doing a whole bunch of fast movement. But like, bro, relax. Oh, okay, we're going to skip past this. Game resulted in both teams being eliminated from the tournament. The game has an announcer. I'll let y'all hear what he had to say. Uh, pull up. Eight-footer short. Rebounded by Smith. Oh, hey, hey, hey. He threw an elbow, he deserves it. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Ridiculous. See you later. Go to your car. I mean, that wasn't that bad, bro. I mean, he did throw an elbow, so they slammed him. Like, if somebody hit me with an elbow, I would have yanked Buddy up, too. But... Both, not, both of your teams, you got kicked out because of that play at the end of the game. It's one minute left in the fourth quarter, bro. It doesn't seem like it's close at all. I'll let the normal audio play so y'all can get a sense of the energy in the building. Good shot. While the white team was dribbling out the clock, this happened. That was unnecessary. That was truly unnecessary. Game about to end. What did you run and throw him down for? Like, go for the cameraman for sure, but you can see this one got messy. There is an unwritten rule about shooting after the game is already over. You just don't do it. And this guy felt that disrespect will not be tolerated. Go, go, go! What was the point? That's what I'm saying. This is just it's stupid stuff. Like literally, that was stupid as crap, bro. 
He shot the ball. Who cares? You lost. Like, walk off the damn court, bro. And little buddies crash out, too. Maybe they <laughs> Lord, y'all getting that was the that was the stupidest Lord get get into it moment ever. Like <laughs> that's just more funny than anything, bro. They, it's not like somebody was going to get hurt from them too. To be honest, Slim Shady was handed out buckets. Big game from July fourth of two thousand twenty had all the fireworks. Jeez, Slim was giving the team in black buckets all game. After the big fella throws him to the ground, he got in his face and asked, how many points you got? The big fella quickly responded with his first bucket of the game. But this game had a couple crash outs. This fight over the loose ball made the refs get involved once again. Team in black was that was big, dumb, but this flagrant foul was devious. Crash, <laughs> you get the crash for that. Like, people can get seriously hurt from some stuff like that, bro. She pushed her. That's not a basketball play, that's a flagrant foul, bro. I would have spazzed, bro. I would have spazzed. That's a you push me, bro. Like, you real out push me. Don't play like that, bro. This game between Team Bagley and Branch West was doomed from the start. This ref came out wearing Crocs, but at least they were in sports mode. But bro's jump ball is the wildest thing in the entire clip. When Julian Newman's evil twin started to act up, the referees had no clue what to do. Why you look like a young old head? You look like a like a kid, the dude, a dude, a Hispanic dude off a movie. He was, he's always in trouble. Was getting in trouble at school. Got locked up, type of thing. Why he look old but young? Like, like Brody got the mustache. The mustache looks crazy, does. Dante Murray and Paolo Boncaro were going at it in this pro -am. I seen this. He Deontay Murray was carrying them. Y'all like fried them, bruh. They was cool at one point. I don't know. I forgot what he said went wrong. I don't know. The game that popularized the people's champ, Colton Clevenger, involved a minor crash out moment. Slash going off in the fifth grade championship. When Buddy stepped over him, he felt disrespected. Luckily, his boys were on the scene to hold him back. But Colt let his game do the talking. They ended up securing the championship. Ooh, floater. Ah, good buggy. Clearly, this was at the end of the game. This may be the most once again pointless. What would you do if 
someone did this to you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not going for that. Not going for it. Rod Wave Elite versus Drifty Elite was must see. LeVar with the dreads was a D1 crash out. Him and Ja'Kai got into it. Jay Jackson had to be the voice of reason. Camden and Camden East High School crashed out in this heated inner city rivalry. They had to shut this game down. Not only that, but both teams got removed from tournament play. This game down out in this heated inner city rivalry. They had to shut this game down. Not only that, but both teams got removed from tournament play. Ethan Bruh backed up. You swung and then backed up all the way to the other side of the court. You didn't want no bump. I'm sorry, you didn't, bro. You didn't want no bump. There's no point in you even doing that. Don't if you don't want bump, then what is the point? Hair Jordan Kaiser and Mid Pro were dunking all over this team from Chicago. Yikes! I'm talking head tap after head tap. But bro has seen enough, and he went for the back fist. The Midwest rivalry between Chicago They should have threw Buddy out the game, bro. Morgan Park and St. Louis's CBC lived up to the hype. Luckily, Caleb Love got removed from the situation quickly. I'm trying to see who all made it to the end. If you made it to the end, comment, crash out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and... Oh, that is Caleb Love. We don't bang with him. He transferred from UNC. F him. Straight up. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. That ain't really was crashing, bro. There's a whole bunch of bluffing, man. Sports, it be a lot of bluffing going on. They ain't really trying to fight for real. But it is what it is, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Once again, road to 1K. Consistent game, consistent keys, man. Y'all be smooth, man. Peace.